What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be learning how to do that edit that you just saw. Um, first, what you wanna have is all the scenes that you want kind of organized in a, in a way like how I have here. And then what you wanna do is go to the picture you have of the backpack. So in this case, that would be this. And just drag it onto your timeline. And then find a good spot where it's pretty focused. So for me, I would say like about right there. And then you're just gonna cut it. Or you don't you don't really have to cut it, but you'll go to edit and then pick add freeze frame. And that's just gonna take a picture of that frame like this and then now you can delete these videos and however long you think you want it to be. So for me, say, I think 28 seconds is a good length. Just drag out your freeze frame to, to 28 seconds like this. And then what you wanna do is go to the, trans the transform and then drag this a little bit up this is really dependent on how you feel. For me, I want it to be a little bit bigger. I think like that's safe, like right there. And then we're gonna go to mask, find draw mask, and then we're gonna drag that on to our still picture like this. And then just to get a clearer mask, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna mask out this um, sticker thing. And I'm just gonna go around like this. Okay, and now that we have it masked out, we're going to invert it like that. And then what that will do is just um, give us where this little spot right here is blank and you can see everything else. And now we get to add our first clip. So I wanna start off with maybe the coach. So I'll bring the, the video of the coach down onto my timeline like this. And then I'm gonna have to do some repositioning. I don't want it to last that long either, so I'm gonna cut it. And that's about four seconds or six. That's a little bit too long, so I'm gonna bring that down to about maybe three and a half. So like that's good right there. And as you can see, he's not really in um, the frame that we want him to be in. So we're gonna go over to transforms and we're gonna move them around a little bit so we'll go to the positions and we're gonna move them up and then X's we're gonna move them over to the right a little bit so he's directly in the middle like this and now it should look like this pretty simple and then now all we gotta do is go to the next one so whichever one you want next I'll use this one I'll just bring that down in here like this. Find where it looks like it's gonna be the best, which is like right here. And I want it to be about three seconds long. So I'll cut these out because I don't need those. And I'll drag this over here. And as you can see, now it's too, it's too big. So in transforms, instead of going to position, first we're gonna go to scale all, make it a little bit smaller and then go to positions and just play around with it. Bring it to the right, bring it up. As you can see, it's still a little bit too big. So we're gonna bring it down even more to about right there and then just have it in the middle. So about like right here. And now you should see the transition from the coach to the player is pretty seamless. And one more time, we're gonna go and we're gonna add another one so I'll add this one right here. We're just gonna bring it down here and then find a good section. So for me, I'm gonna guess it's probably decent, like right here. And then I'm just gonna drag that over here. And here we have the same problem. 
is a little bit too big, so we're gonna make it smaller and the transforms with the scale all and the positions, play with it, bring it to the right, bring it up and down to it's about right there. And now we should have something that looks like this. And with the rest of your clips, you'll just keep doing the same thing. Um, however, however long you want it to be. Usually I make my videos like this about 30 seconds, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. But now we're gonna go over how to add some of the titles. So you're just going to your titling and I usually like selecting custom, but you can pick whatever you want. And for this, we're gonna say game day. So going to say January, what's today? Today's the 20th. So I'll just say January 20th. And then I'll put game day like this. Then I'll move it over to about where I want it. And I'm going to pick a font that I want to change it to. This has been a font that I've been using a lot lately. I'll just make it bigger so it's a little bit more noticeable. And then I can even change the colors. If I go to face and press show, I can change it from white to something more like the school colors. So I'll, I'll go here and like on the paint dropper tool, I'll select her shirt. And then for the outline, I can make that active and then make that green. A darker green, so I'll drag this over here. Like that. And that's pretty much it. You would uh, you can go in and drag and drop your um, PNG files of the logos right here and just add your own little spice to it. But for the most part, that's how you can do this little backpack effect. Um, it's pretty creative, pretty interesting. I first saw it on the Mercer uh, men's basketball uh, page. I'll link that video in the description. Um, and yeah, I hope this helped you out. Um, like and subscribe, comment. And other than that, uh, keep creating.